and gentlemen, we're back with another round of farming. Mentally ill children online on Twitter. And just to give you a little reference, because we do have a little bit of a follow-up. Yesterday, I made a video called basically the same thing. Crying about my ReZero content. And guess what? <laughs> it stemmed from this to do a little bit of, you know, um, if you don't know what's happening, there's these kids that get so upset that we're making content around ReZero and because they're just so devoid of anything fulfilling, they need, they feel the need to shit on other people that are enjoying something. And this is the tweet that kind of started it. And <laughs> do you need this, bro? It's a very cute Nahida meme here with a little anti schizo pills. And the funniest and the saddest part is no one's really liking his stuff other than himself. And there's literally no impressions going out. Now, he took the bait. The monkey took the bait and actually, <laughs> and it's so sad that like nobody views his tweets because he's such a small ch channel. Bro, this unfamous person is really making money by licking the ReZero's fandom's ass right now. And here's the best part. If you actually watch the video or understand my content, you would understand that I think fandoms are cringe as fuck. The fact that you need to rely on like a big established community and then to ride their coattails and act as if you're self-important is so cringe. You are your own individual person and I am making money, not licking the ReZero's fandom, but by making fun of you. Someone who is so delusional and so gone because you're just a stupid kid online that has no friends. You're so lonely. You're so desperate for attention that you even do this as like a humiliation ritual. So we're going to farm you just a little bit more and <laughs> come here. Oh, <laughs> this is the best part. Bro got 18 impressions. I'm trying to help a small creator out right now, actually. I'm not bullying. No, 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 no. I'm trying to help a small creator out right now in hopes that they can expand their channel from beyond that. If we take a look at this video, the comments actually explained a lot more. There's a lot of lore here that I did not understand. So... If you, again, watch this previous video, I implore you to watch this video. Oh, yeah. This guy is so dedicated to hating ReZero. It's actually, it's actually impressive. I thought it was a bot account at first. So I have to reply to anything ReZero related. Random slander image. But no, that's a real person with a pulse wasting their life. And remember, like, these people treat hate posting and rage baiting online as a full-time job. Just imagine the privileges they must have to not have a job or any responsibilities to do this as a full-time job. It's most likely a stupid kid, you know, leeching off their parents or it's a fucking man-child that is just a neat. Edit. Okeanix is the exact opposite of this guy. And yeah, he, he, he was beefing with Okeanix in the threads, right? In that he's annoying because he's the world's biggest ReZero Glazer. To the point where he just picks fights with fans of other shows or anyone who doesn't like ReZero as their top one. Okay, like there's a lot more context because basically whoever this guy is and Okeanix, they're like two sides of the same coin. Their internet really needs an age limit. I absolutely agree. And unironically, with Donald Trump becoming, you know, uh, president of the United States and his whole, you know, speech about Section 230 and regulations online regarding censorship and content creation, I do think that we should ban children who are underage from access in social media. And if not outward ban, have a separate category like YouTube for kids. Like they don't, they should not be picking up Instagram or Twitter. There is more harm that can be done for an underage kid to be online with a bunch of fucking weirdos. It's just nothing good is going to happen. Jancho Cameo, uh, another ReZero poster. Uh, people keep comparing me to Okeanix as the biggest ReZero Glazer, but the difference is, unlike Okeanix, I don't slander other series that aren't ReZero. I just keep talking about how much I love ReZero. All right. Farming, yes, I'm always just farming. Bruh, this coming from a Grimgar Glazer? I'm so disappointed as a fellow Grimgar Glazer. This series doesn't even deserve this kind of fandom. Uh, it probably has to do with, like, this picture, right? And that's the thing. I bet, like... I, I always notice that the most, like, crazy, racist, evil piece of shit online, they have an anime profile picture with, like, Luffy as their main character. But, like, if you truly understood what that main character was all about, I bet that they'd be so ashamed that you even watch their content. Now, I don't watch Grimgar. Maybe it's a good show that we can check out one of these days. But if the main character, whoever this guy, knew what this motherfucker was doing, do you think that this character would be proud? Probably not, right? Okeanix versus Haruhito, truly the greatest online ReZero rivalry alongside Ice versus Star Megalo. Who are these people? Why do you know this lore? They are such opposite extreme sides of the spectrum that it's funny. Constant inaccurate hate and slander versus constant annoying and antagonistic glaze. It's like Aokichi versus Akaida looking ass. 
<laughs> now we desperately need better reason or representation on Twitter. <laughs> it's just pure glaze or pure hate. <laughs> Everyone is hating on one another while the authors are literally friends. That's the other thing. Bro, the authors and Mushoku Tensei and ReZero, if we're going to be talking about those two fandoms, like, who are you hating on behalf of? The authors are friends. It's kind of sad that a lot of ReZero and MT fans don't get along, considering both authors have a high respect for each other's work. And here's the thing. I think at the end of the day, like, it's just a bunch of losers. Again, people who identify, like, people whose entire personality is just like a fandom, I think you're the most pathetic loser in the world. You have no individualism. You're a literal NPC that never accomplished anything or to have done anything to be proud of. Therefore, you don't stand by yourself like I do. I don't identify with the ReZero fandom. I don't identify with the MT fandom. I identify as myself as someone that enjoys anime and just wants to watch good shit. And I love both shows. But losers need to play these team sports tribalism thing to demonize an other group to make themselves feel more important because they have done nothing with their lives and they most likely are social outcasts that's probably been bullied at their schools. I love MT and ReZero. I don't know why people can't, you know, let us enjoy and what we doesn't hurt anybody. I absolutely agree. Yeah, that's a lot, definitely not healthy. I'm so glad I'm a functioning human because living like that chasing dopamine and attention is just miserable. I agree. This guy hates ReZero 24 seven and doesn't even get any views on Twitter. And that's the saddest thing, bro. His tweet, he's it, like every day he's posting. It's only himself that he's liking his own post, bro. It's actually so sad. How do he, uh, he needs to learn how to rage bait properly. <laughs> I want to see a good troll at least once. And that's the thing with this video here called Reaser is not a masterpiece, right? The whole point of this video is for, is for me to figure out like, is there someone actually smart enough that can um, make some compelling talking points to shit on ReZero so I can meme about it too and shit on it also? That's what I'm trying to do right now. How do we do the MC of Grimgar? Probably one of the most underrated isekais out there. Yeah, maybe maybe one of these days that we can watch Grimgar. Uh, making your whole personality online presence about anything you don't like has to be the most brain dead thing in the world. Absolutely. Again, go back to, you know, a couple minutes ago when I literally talked about if your entire personality is just representing a fandom and all you can do is just hate, hate, hate and other people, you are the most pathetic loser. You see it everywhere. Wow, players shitting on FF14 and vice versa. PlayStation versus Xbox. Players talking most of the time about the console they are not using. Exactly. Anime fans engaging with series they don't enjoy, right? Rather than talking about the things that you enjoy and what you talk about, I see not a single post about Grimgar here. Also, the one good thing about farming this guy is that we found, you know, Mr. Mochi here with this fan art. This was the best thing that actually came out from, you know, farming this kid. This phenomenon is everywhere across all demographics and political spectrum. And I just can't understand how these people can function in society. They don't. Exactly. And again, it has to do with this tribalistic instinct that human beings have. All the way back to like caveman days, right? They have different tribes. And all these different tribes, if you're not with us, you're against us. You have this like caveman identity going on. You're an actual NPC where you see one thing that's against what you agree with. And suddenly you feel so insecure that other people are enjoying something that you don't like. And you need to feel like you need to say something about it when nobody fucking asks. I can't fathom writing more than one comment about something I don't like. But spending my time on a daily basis... Unless you're getting paid for that shit, it seems insanity. That's the other thing. Like, if you're making videos to farm like I am, at least you're getting the bag. What the fuck are you doing on Twitter? You don't get paid shit even with the blue check mark with millions of impressions. You're literally volunteering your time to fucking make yourself upset. Like, isn't it crazy that every day this person wakes up and wants to be upset over and over? Again, it's a humiliation ritual right now. Just focus on the things you enjoy. Life will provide things you will hate on its own. You don't need to actively look for them. Exactly. All I do is enjoy these great shows with you guys. And we have fun and we make some noise. But we've gotten to the point where mentally ill children feel insecure that other people are enjoying something that they don't like. So they need to say something about it. Because they can't fathom other people being happy. Uh, that's pretty much it. And, you know, I, I think we'll end it here. It's just that, like, it's really sad and pathetic. But at the same time, I feel like this person needs some help. So, please, guys, here's a link to his Twitter. Please share some nice words, some kind words, and say, stop it. You're better than this. You can do better than this. And hopefully, he can grow into the proper rage bait troll that I am looking for. But today's video is not really about this. Today's video <laughs> is about this, okay? 
<laughs> all right, here we go. And first of all, let's look at the first tweet that is even being mentioned. And maybe some of this is stuff is uh, spoilers, so I'm going to read this, you know, first couple card. ReZero Season 3 Episode 7 Spoiler Warning. A few pieces of information about the episode. It's an extended length episode. It's being approximately 29 minutes long. God bless the heavens. White Fox is returning to form by removing the opening and endings and having a 30 minute episode nearly. Oh, we're going to be just fucking eating it up. Wednesday coming up, bro, that's just going to be like an hour long reaction. But someone's mad. <laughs> Mr. Rat. <laughs> it's, I mean, he identifies as a rat, so I guess he proudly is a rat. He's very upset that other people are having fun. ReZero fans gassing this episode as if it's the second coming of Jesus. Surely it will elevate this arc from the worst arc yet, right? So I wonder what kind of person this is. I don't really want to open their page, but basically it doesn't really... It, it, it seems like this is a little bit more of a complex hate. Rather than just being an empty glazer with Rudius's, you know, you know, basically like this shit, right? Actually... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, the rat emoji. It's supposed to be like an empty fat. I get it. Ah, <laughs> great rat. Ra okay, so this is how mentally ill kids need to seek out safe spaces online to have group therapy sessions. And if you notice someone with like a rat emoji, you know that they're like your friends that you can talk about your show together with. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, so that's what's happening here. So we got an empty glazer saying that arc four, sorry, this is arc five is the worst arc. I think that is so intellectually dishonest, but like, why do you feel the need to say this stuff? Like, if you are so content with just watching Mushoku Tensei, you should be talking about Mushoku Tensei. You should be highlighting your community and the stuff about Mushoku Tensei and spread the awareness. But all these people do is get mad that other people are having fun outside. Remember this I always show you. Where is this? Uh, Squidward mad that SpongeBob's having fun. Remember this? This is exactly that. People cannot fathom other people having fun. Like, what compels a person to, like, make a hate post about other people enjoying something else? Like, why do you think people act like this? Because I truly believe that these are not rational functioning members of society who has their prefrontal cortex developed. I think that these are dumb teenagers who are lonely isolated, depressed, probably gets bullied at school, feels like a social outcast, but can finally find some sort of like safe space in the Mushoku Tensei fandom as they find other people that's kind of like them. But rather than talking about their favorite show, they wage wars with other fandoms. Even though the authors of ReZero and MT are like friends and they cherish each other, these retards online are like, who are your ops? Who are your ops right now? Who is hurting you? It's just, I guess people just feel such negativity when other people are having fun and they look at themselves and they realize, how are they having this much fun? I'm not having fun. Why are you having fun? Fuck you, I'm gonna make a post about it. And then I come in and farm the delusions of these children as I play armchair psychologist. Again, ReZero fans, shit, ReZero mid-ass writing. Again, it's his little bro right there. The rat gang is all just backing each other up. I bet bro posted this and immediately sent a message to his friend. No, 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 no. They already pre-planned it on Discord. He's like, bro, I'm about to release a bomb on the ReZero fandom. Do you have my back, bro? Yeah, bro. I'll be there to glaze immediately. Mm. This should be basically his face here with this guy's profile picture as the feet. Like, it's so funny that you don't even see what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> and then the giga chat freedom enjoyer alres shows up not empty not razor my man's a freedom enjoyer based and shows up uh-uh subaru natsuki gana and gana translates to win <laughs> natsuki super wins ratios this motherfucker and this is the best part look at the amount of like engagement and this is like nothing, right? 789 impressions, whatever. But I want you to look at the amount of impressions that, you know, this rat gets. 789 to 5 likes. And then you have 192 to 33 likes. That's the best part. That's so funny to me. And can you guys see what's about to happen? 
Can you now understand why I brought this thread up to farm today? Mr. Grey Rat then responds with this video as if this is an own. But you know what the funniest thing is? These stupid kids, if they actually watched the video, they would realize the entire video is me calling the rage bait guy a retard monkey because they don't understand the show that they're talking about. But they get clickbaited. They think that like, this is a video that's supposed to make Reezer look bad. That's what I want you to understand. This is the average intelligence of these rat emoji Twitter accounts. Like, like can you comprehend? Like, do you understand how stupid this is? Like, this video does not make Reezer look bad. In fact, it makes you look so more stupid because you are posting this as if this is supposed to, like, help your cause. People that watch this video know exactly what it's about. And then, here's the best part. What happens to Mr. Frieden? <laughs> Peak Cinema. <laughs> Remember this video? This is what Ginny on it. got in the end. The reference we should content say. Where this guy right over here is like, well, I saw this anime where this guy stole his teacher's panties and I, I thought it was hot. And then Gideon was like, yo, what anime was that? And he's like, in jobless something, jobless reincarnation. Like, like, and then boom, with the fucking fat ratio. The farm is wild. I agree. The farm is wild. And that's pretty much it, guys. Here's another quick little drama video. Just farming the mentally ill online. But at the end of the day, they're kind of victims. They genuinely are. I think that, like, people who do this are extremely depressed kids online because rational, logical, functioning members of society who are happy and content with their lives, who has friendships and, you know, hobbies and fulfillments, they are too busy living their dreams. But the super depressed and chronically online kids, it's because they have nothing happening in their lives and they feel so empty. And rather than talking about the show that they enjoy, they realize that rage bait and hating other people gets them more attention than actually talking about their favorite show. That's why you have people doing this kind of behavior, right? They're super depressed kids due to the environment they grew up in. Maybe their parents suck. Maybe they're, they're just losers at school and they get bullied. And the only way they can feel some sort of community is by banding with other losers online and trying to hate other people. They're actually victims, if you think about it. And it's a really sad thing, but I'm a piece of shit. I'm a terrible person. And rather than me trying to give them therapy, no, 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 no. That's not what this is for. I'm here to farm their mental illness because I'm just as mentally ill as them. Goodbye.